Hello from Slide Nerd and hello from Weaves guys. In this vid, I'm gonna talk about how to make this diamond, all right? In the last vid, I had shown you how to draw this part, this diamond without spaces. In this, I'm gonna put spaces over here and make it a complete looking diamond. So you guys ready? It's a pretty simple program. Again, think about this. So if you see what we have done so far is something like this. We have seven rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, there's a for loop for seven rows. And for each row, what we have is we have one in the first row, three in the second, five in the third. So I have odd in each row, all right? Now odd starts with one. It increases by two every time because you have one, three, five, and seven. And after this point, it starts decreasing. It says then five, it goes three, then it goes one, right? So I'm gonna say odd equals to odd minus two after the current row is bigger than the middle row, right? So let me go ahead and put spaces in this. It's a, if you haven't watched the last bit, please be sure to check it out because that's where I explained all these things. In this bit, I'm gonna simply put the spaces. So now, here's the thing. We have three spaces over here. Then we have two spaces. Then we have one space, right? So what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say int number of spaces equals to three. I'm gonna start with three first. So remember, now spaces, come before the star, right? The spaces come before the star. So we have to make sure that before we print the star, we print the spaces over here. So I'm gonna say for int j equals to number of spaces j greater than equals one, j minus minus. Or we can start with j equals to one, j less than equals number of spaces j plus plus. It's your choice. It's completely your choice. There's nothing wrong doing it either way. So now what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say system dot out dot print. I'm gonna put a space over here. So at this point, let's go ahead and run uh, run this and see what happens. Control S, Shift F6. Now here's the weird thing. Three spaces. What happens is first you enter i equals to one. Then you see this for loop, the compiler says, okay, there's number of spaces is three, all right? So three is greater than one, j minus minus, print one space, print two space, print three spaces, so print three spaces over here. Then it says print a star, all right? And then as you remember, odd increases by two, it becomes three stars over here, three spaces, three spaces, five stars, three spaces, seven stars, so on, right? The problem is we are not changing the spaces, are we? We should be changing the spaces. We need to keep decreasing it, right? Here, here I want two of them, here I want one, and here I want none. That's what I want exactly. So what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say simply, I'm gonna say spaces. Oh, it's number of spaces, wait a second. Number of spaces equals to number of spaces minus one, right? After each time, you're gonna decrease the number of spaces by one. So let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. Control S, Shift F6. As you guys can see, it's half the diamond made. It's three over here, two over here, one over here, zero over here, but what happens after this point is, if you remember, we started with three, right? And this goes for seven iterations. So after some point, the number of spaces becomes negative, right? Because you say three minus one, it becomes two. Over here, two minus one becomes one. One minus one becomes zero. Zero minus one becomes minus one over here. Minus two over here, minus three over here, right? So number of spaces becomes negative. We don't want that. We want it to increase after a certain extent. Exactly the same thing which we did for printing the stars, right? So what I'm gonna say is, after the middle row, this is the middle row, right? After this middle row, the number of spaces should increase. So I'm gonna say something like this, the same condition. I'm gonna say if i less than four, number of spaces is number of spaces minus one, else. Now, here in the else part, what happens is we are after this middle part. That is we are here over here, then we are over here, then we are over here. I'm gonna increase the spaces, right? I'm gonna say number of spaces is number of spaces plus one, all right? So now let me go ahead and run this, Control S. Shift F6, bam, there you go. You see the diamond? Pretty look cute looking, eh? It's a hard work to make this stuff. If you see on Google and the other forums, you won't find a simple explanation for this. So this is a pretty simple bit. So now let me go ahead and show you some relationships. Now what if the user says, I want nine rows and nine columns, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Think about it. Here, let's try to find some relationships. The number, there are seven over here. There was three over here, all right? Now if I say nine over here, then this is gonna become four, all right? And this is gonna become five because the middle row is the fifth row, right? So this is gonna become five. So let me go ahead and run this. Control S, Shift F6. As you can see for nine rows, this becomes like this. So what happens in general when you ask the user for input? Let me show you that. So here, if I say int size equals to nine, right? Number of spaces is exactly four. That is size divided by two, remember. 4.5 won't come because this is an integer. Only four will be accepted, right? So here I'm gonna say size 
in return number of spaces all right uh, or everything else remains the same here in place of five what i'll say is i'll say size by two which is four right plus one that becomes five size by two plus one so let me go ahead and run this control s shift f6 the same program now you can change the size as you want if you say 11 over here control s shift f6 see that it's being made for 11 take a good look let's put a big number and see something like 29 all right let me make this big because this is going to be a massive program shift f6 as you guys can see there's a nice diamond over here it's a pretty simple bit so you can go ahead and take an input for the user for size make sure the number of spaces is size by two and the middle row is size by two plus one so I hope you guys understood something out of this vid. It was pretty simple program. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know what you think about this. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Have a nice day.